it is really a film that tries to investigate uh, sexual repression and a young boy's odyssey of trying to find sex me not opting for the stars in bollywood i think they don't want to opt for me they see themselves as brands first i don't see any stars wanting to risk today with the kind of characters uh, that 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 they want to play especially if it's not your typical public service announcement jaisi wo uh, sarkari ads jaisi filme nahi chalti hain aajkal jinko log progressive film mein aajkal bol rahe hain for me those kind of films are not cinema they are more like radio plays each year we make close to 2200 to 2500 films i think it's a shame that there is no structural support for a certain kind of cinema in india kanu first congratulations for the thunderous response that your film received at the can film festival it was of course screened in the director's uh, fortnight section the film got a 5 minute long standing ovation would you say the mission can accomplished for the film and for you uh absolutely i think uh, i mean it was a very very successful premiere uh it was it was as much as we had expected and i think it was a little bit more to i mean what what we had been hearing in terms of how the film was being received we'd been hearing that that the initial reactions were good uh, i mean uh, uh, you know the limited number of people who had seen it before the premiere and uh, we we were kind of expecting a good reaction but to be honest uh, it exceeded our expectations and and the love that we got uh, from the audience was just amazing amazing it was it was a really a great experience to those because that you haven't released a trailer of the film would you please like to tell us more about the film and its story it is the story of a young boy who is madly in love with this girl and he wants to marry her and he wants to make a room in the house uh, because he lives in a very weird house he he lives in a house where the father lives upstairs with a with a with a mistress and he lives downstairs with the downstairs with the mother and the terrace on the upper floor is on the only last open space left in the house jahan par aunty ka garden hai aunty ne apna bagicha banaya hua hai wahan aur wo jagah sabko chahiye ghar ki और वही जगह जगह गुरु भी बोलता है मुझे चाहिए क्योंकि वो बोलता है मैं शादी करके अपना कमरा बनाऊंगा और मैं यहाँ पर रहूंगा अपनी गर्लफ्रेंड के साथ जैसे आप रहते हो आंटी के साथ ही कॉल्स द मिस्ट्रेस आंटी एंड सो फ्रॉम दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ बिजार प्रेमिस इट इज रियली अ फिल्म दैट ट्राइज टू इन्वेस्टिगेट सेक्शुअल रिप्रेशन एंड अ यंग बॉयज ऑडिसी ऑफ ट्राइंग टू फाइंड सेक्स and seeing him on his journey as he has sex for the first time in his life and seeing how that journey uh, of repression unfolds after that your debut film titli which was set in the underbelly of delhi was part pleasant and shocking in titli uh, the titular character played by shashank had some issues with his father hey to uh, in agra the conflict is between son and his father why are you drawn to themes of these unpleasant emotions and patriarchy and this time it actually the film talks about sexual repression right yeah so you know in 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 thematic texture both the films are completely different for me even though uh, uh, bahar se dekh ke shayad aisa lag sakta hai ki titli mein bhi ek father son tha and and even agra has a has a sort of uh, father son relationship at its core somewhere but i think for me the both the films were completely different pieces whereas titli was a film about circularity it was a film about uh, violence and how images uh, transfer within within a family from generation to generation and how this young boy is trying to deal with it uh with agra i was really trying to break into new territory which is i was trying to investigate the themes of sexuality and sexual repression and the idea of physical space or how these two uh, you know end up affecting each other how our sexual lives are affected by the physical spaces we live in and how the physical spaces in turn start molding our sexual lives to ye idea ke around mein khelna cha raha tha uh, because also you know i had felt this certain sexual repression in my own life as an adolescent growing up even you know there was there was a delayed sexual majority maturity and i i always wondered ki aisa kyun hota hai iska reason kya hai 
and the more i started thinking about it i realized that you know socially politically culturally uh, we are a very curious country uh, we are quite unique in that nature because aap dekhe to we are one of the two most populous uh, countries on the planet right now but where we are really different from china is that china has such a huge landmass and uh, we have 1.2 billion but they are all sort of tightly packed uh, uh, next to each other like almost like a can of sardines so ye this this thought process when it uh, when it slowly started to form i realized that there was something really interesting there and i needed to explore this more so really for me agra is more about these thematics and even though family may set hai uh 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 mujhe lagta hai uske andar ke jo kirdar hai all the characters they are they are all more individual units whereas the family in titli the three brothers and the father they were working towards a common cause yeah. here even though they live in the same house they are really individuals who are working towards their own selfish lustful goals to family to hai but unko really family bola nahi ja sakta you know i have i haven't seen the film but i've read uh, some reviews it was mentioned that much of the film is 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 playing out inside guru's head that's the character played by mohit agarwal how you decided about the treatment for the film uh, and how do you think it will hold the attention of viewers it doesn't it doesn't fully play out inside the house it moves around quite a fair bit i would say about 40 to 50% of the film uh, is within the house so the house is a very important character and in any case hum hum ek aisi film ki baat kar rahe the which is also trying to take you inside the head of this very difficult character a character who's sexually repressed and he is trying desperately to fight all the repression that he sees within his house i mean he lives in the same house with his father on the upper floor who lives there with a the mistress और नीचे गुरु सेम कमरे में अपनी माँ के साथ सोता है सो देर इज ऑलरेडी हाउस एंड दिस बॉय सेंसेज इट आई मीन एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे ही इज आस्किंग इज फादर की आप कर क्या रहे हो या तो उसके साथ रहो या इसके साथ रहो दोनों को घर में क्यों रखा है एट द सेम टाइम ही इज प्रॉब्ली थिंकिंग अबाउट स्पीकिंग विद मिस्ट्रेस एंड सेंग वाई आर यू ओके विद अन वुमन इन द हाउस इफ इफ यू आर द वुमन ऑफ दिस हाउस वाई इज माई मदर स्टिल हियर and uh, parallelly he is probably you know in his head having that chat with his mother how are you okay with another woman sitting on top of your head so they he is surrounded by characters in the film who have very evolved public masks uh, they are probably very good at hiding their own sexual repression uh, but they are as mad if not more mad than guru is और फिल्म की आयरनी ये है कि फिल्म के अंदर सब गुरु को बोलते हैं कि ये पागल है फॉर वेरियस रीजन एंड एंड सो इट 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 आल्सो बिकेम अ फिल्म दैट वाज अबाउट एक्सप्लोरिंग ऑल ऑफ दीज पीपल्स मैडनेस एंड दैट्स व्हाई आई एक्चुअली चोज टू कॉल इट आगरा ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज ऑफ द आगरा का पागल एंड आई वॉन्टेड दिस हाउस टू ऑलमोस्ट बी अ मेटफर फॉर द मैडनेस दैट वी सी प्ले आउट फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीज कैरेक्टर्स नॉट जस्ट फॉर गुरु इवन दो गुरु बहुत सारी ऐसी गलत चीजें करता है कुछ अनएक्सेप्टेबल चीजें भी करता है फिल्म में जो करने के बाद उस जैसे कैरेक्टर के साथ चल पाना बहुत मुश्किल हो जाता है लेकिन तब भी मुझे लगता है देर इज इनहेरेंट एम्पथी इन द कैरेक्टर बिकॉज यू फील लाइक ही इज दी ओनली वन हुज इवन अटेम्प्टिंग अ रेस्क्यू हुज इवन अटेम्प्टिंग क्वेश्चनिंग द स्टेटस को and then once he fails then he says okay theek hai to fir agar aap sab log ko yahi chahiye and you don't want to talk about the repressions in the house and you just want to lead uh, superficial transactional relationships to fir main karke dikhata hu ki transaction kaise karte hain because aaj ki duniya mein transaction kaise karte hain wo mujhe pata hai so it's in that sense it's a reverse coming of age and some of the claustrophobia that comes with that with the with being inside the head of such a repressed boy that claustrophobia to be able to portray it was very necessary for us and in the overall design of the film uh, that's what you will see we were trying to attempt we were trying to attempt a lot of phallic and vulvic symbology which we wanted in almost the presence of which we wanted in every frame uh, so ye tha aur और जहां तक बात ये आती है कि ऑडियंस कैसे हैंडल करेगी देखिए हम हम फिल्म मेकर्स सेंसिटिव इंसान होते हैं और हम हम ये मैं नहीं बोला सिर्फ फिल्म फिल्म मेकर सेंसिटिव होते हैं सभी ह्यूमन बीइंग सेंसिटिव होते हैं 
बट हमारा काम ये होता है टू बी एबल टू प्लग इन इन टू समीज इमोशन एंड सम ऑफ द ट्रूथ दैट वी सी अराउंड अस एंड टू बी एबल टू ऑनेस्टली रिफ्लेक्ट what we are seeing in in the society around us right so my job is not to please you i am really bringing out a piece of some sort of reality honestly if i do it honestly i feel like i am bringing that and i am presenting it to you if you have a problem watching it then i think that as an audience the onus lies on you and it speaks much more about your lives and i think as an audience one needs to then reflect and see what we are seeing play out around us in reality and look towards that rather than turn around to the film and say are yaar ye picture dekhi nahi gayi which is a very very easy cop out no although you're not new to cannes uh, your debut film tithi 2 was premiered at cannes in in the year 2 2014 how do you think that agra's festival journey will boost the interest of audiences back home in india um see agra is a uh, is typically your average independent film in that sense it's not a film jiske paas bade stars hain it's not a film that has the uh, typical uh, uh, now uh, 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 you know that is attached with your big star driven film it's a small film and to make itself bigger and to make itself heard and to make itself slightly more important it is important for the film to have some sort of equity and i think in that sense uh, as a piece of cinema that needs to be talked about as as something that has the potential to start a conversation around some important things in our lives which we refuse to look at or refuse to engage with i think being at directors what night being at can gives the film a really big uh, uh, really important uh, sort of uh, platform and from here uh, if if we do a good enough festival run and gather as much more equity as we can for the film and make it bigger than it is than it is then hopefully it will it will help uh, the film come out in india then how you find the lead cast of the film having already made a critically acclaimed tithli what was the reason behind not opting for the actors who are uh, from mainstream bollywood you know rather than uh, the case being uh, me not opting for the stars in bollywood there are actually two reasons sabse pehle to ye hai ki rather than me not opting for them i think they don't want to opt for me because they probably don't see themselves as actors first uh, you know they see themselves as brands first and for a brand to be associated with something that is not conventional threatens the brand or has the potential to threaten the more the 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 sort of money earning capability of that brand so i don't see any stars wanting to risk today with the kind of characters uh, that 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 they want to play especially if it's not your typical public service announcement jaisi wo सरकारी एड्स जैसी फिल्में नहीं चलती हैं आजकल जिनको लोग प्रोग्रेसिव फिल्में आजकल बोल रहे हैं वैसी फिल्मों के बाहर जो अपने आप को मैसेज फिल्में बोलती हैं जो क्लियरली ये आके बोल जाती हैं कि हाय देखो ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए वैसा नहीं करना चाहिए या गे लोग अच्छे होते हैं या ये अच्छा होता है या वो अच्छा होता है दे आर वेरी सिंपलिस्टिक मैसेज ड्रिवन फिल्म दे आर नॉट they are not complex or they are not nuanced and here you know this is not a comment on the lg lgbt community or their fight for for validation it it is it is a very very complex fight fight and i feel you know it 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 should get ad- addressed in in all its nuance but we hardly see a certain kind of film which is not trying to do that not be very simple and just say a message for me those kind of films are not cinema they are more like radio plays मतलब उसमें सिनेमैटिक कुछ है ही नहीं आप आके डायलॉग बोल के स्पीच दे के चले जाओ दैट फॉर मी इज नॉट फिल्म मेकिंग दैट इज नॉट सिनेमा सिनेमा इज 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 डिजाइन टू बी अ कॉन्वर्सेशन यू आर सपोज टू फर्स्ट नॉट स्टैंड ऑन अ पेडेस्टल एज अ फिल्म मेकर एंड से अब मैं आया हूं कोई बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात तो मैं बता के जाऊंगा मुझे नहीं लगता मैं इंपॉर्टेंट इनफ हूं टू टू लुक डाउन अपॉन माई ऑडियंस एंड ट्रीट दम एस किड्स एंड से अब मैं तुम्हें कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट बात बता रहा हूं नो आई एम हेयर टू स्टार्ट अ कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड आई जेन्यनली वॉन्ट टू यू नो रिस्पेक्ट माई ऑडियंस एंड नॉट नॉट ट्रीट दम एज एज चिल्ड्रेन एंड एंगेज इन अ डिबेट विद दम सो द मोमेंट यू आर ट्राइंग टू डू अ फिल्म लाइक दिस देर आर ओनली दोज काइंड ऑफ लिमिटेड चॉइस फॉर एक्टर्स दैट आर लेफ्ट एंड यू हैव टू गो आउट एंड लुक फॉर 
courageous actors who are willing to do something uh, something uh, much more important because perhaps they don't have as much as stake you know we keep hearing today uh, people talking about this is the best time to be a storyteller there are many platforms the that that are ready to showcase newer stories do you see a lot of streamers or or producers turning up to you with big big offers um i think the answer is really really simple and straightforward uh, uh, and it lies in the fact that it took me close to 9 years uh, to make my second film uh and part of this journey already has had the presence of ott platforms in india um and uh, you know the fact that uh, titli mere liye khatam hui thi 2015 october mein by early 2017 i had already written agra and i had 40% of the financing in place it's an india france co production but it still took me 2 years to find finance for for the film in india so i think the answer is pretty straightforward and it's in front of us you saying it's, it's still really tough to make an indie film is that what you saying absolutely absolutely not just for me there are a bunch of indie filmmakers out there uh, who who have really strong voices and still find it really really difficult to find finance for the kind of films that they believe in and that that they want to uh, uh, that they want to make i think i i take this opportunity here to speak on behalf of that whole really big community is it really that tough i thought there 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 there, there are government institutions like nfdc or independent filmmakers backing these indie projects but it's such a shame sir that we live in a country of 1.2 billion people each year we make close to 2200 to 2500 films and you and me are having to have this conversation that independent producers to hain bahut sare aap unke paas kyun nahi ja sakte i think it's a shame that there is no structural support for a certain kind of cinema in india why why should a certain kind of filmmaker need to go again and again and look for independent financing at 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 any point you know uh, uh, you look at uh, some of the best uh, periods for the best cinema that we've seen whether it's the 70s uh, french wave french new wave that we talk about whether it's the best years of tarkovsky in russia or whether it's the best years of kurosawa in, in japan you know or some of the films of ray uh uh you know they were always supported structurally they were there was always huge government support yeah. and there was support for the arts so uh and and i'm i'm saying forget okay theek hai even if the government doesn't want to be directly involved uh, even if you look at the 70s uh, american new wave right there was there was huge studio structural support for a certain kind of film so uh why should we only be talking my only question is why do independent indie films need to be accidents they they can be they can be sustainable uh, uh they can be sustainable processes they don't need to be accidents But, with independent financing what happens is it it really becomes more an accident than anything else and finally what's the big plan now you have are you going to take the film to other festivals Or, or when we Indians are going to watch Agra in theaters in India, the plan is to take it to other festivals and gather as much equity for the film as possible, make it as big as possible. And uh, because Can has just wrapped up, actually, कल रात को ही सब खत्म हुआ है. So we are just going to probably take a little breather, take a breath uh, from you know away from all the excitement and all the chaos of those 12 days at the festival and we are going to sit down and uh, we're going to plan what the next step is after we do our festival run uh, because obviously the the at the real end of the journey for me is to be able to share the film with with indian audiences because the that's the audience that i had made the film for always you know and that's the audience that that matters it is a film by indian people for the indian people तो जब तक इंडिया में नहीं आएगी आ, हम में से कोई भी आ, चैन की सांस नहीं नहीं रह पाएगा तो हम सब उसी में लगे हुए हैं एंड लेट्स सी हाउ इट पैंस आउट कानो भैल मो पावर टू यू वी आर रियली लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू वॉच आगरा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम इन बेस्ट ऑफ लक थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हैविंग मी थैंक यू